get my oil spills. You got uh, kitty litter, like a dollar a bag. But I got gear oil over here, so take some kitty litter, sprinkle it on. And eventually, it'll soak it all up. Yeah, I got this sweet snap on impact. Um, what is this, 18 volt? I think it's 18 volt. Pretty sweet. Got this sweet chrome socket on this chrome extension. Perfect for impacts. It's like a three quarter inch nut. Oh, geez. This is bad, dude. <laughs> so, uh,. Here we are now. Should we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> okay, I got her. Jesus. Here we go. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Come so I Oh. These are the tools that you're going to need to do the front brakes on this project. This clamp here is to compress the caliper for the new pads so you can get that on. This is also just a handy tool to have to do the same thing to get it off. And then you're going to need a 3 8 ratchet and at least a half inch ratchet for the caliper bracket bolts. And those caliper bracket bolts are an 18 millimeter. And then my lug nuts were a three quarter, so that's what that's for, and also this. But, and then the caliper bolts are a 13, and that's what our 3 8 ratchet is for. And then you're gonna want a wire brush, or what I have here is a drill, and that drill is to clean off the caliper bracket for the brake pads, and then just one of these because it ratchets. And then brake parts cleaner to clean off the new uh, brake rotors. So we're just kind of jamming the old pry bar in between the pad and the rotor to try to compress this caliper so it moves easier. And I mean, it kind of moves. Next, I think we'll take these top bolts out. I think, I don't know, what does that look like? A 12? Looks like a 12. Uh, take this big unit off hmm. and we'll take the pads off and then the um, caliper bracket clean it all up you know make it so it's not all dirty and squeaky and then uh, rotor so I'm pulling these bolts out now Gage had to move his truck for his old lady it's all in the way she's got to go to work I'm close imagine having to go to work but, uh, Pulling these, they weren't a 12, they were a 13. I was wrong. But uh, they're just kind of short little, little bolts. Yeah, so then, I don't know, it looks like you kind of like give it a, oh, oh, I think that's gonna be it. And it's, it's important that you don't let these hang by the, uh, by the line, because I guess it screws them up. I, uh, I don't really care, but. I guess some people do. They just kind of slide these non these big units out. I mean, they're not they're not that bad. I've seen worse, but it's definitely a dodge. Dodge brakes always squeak. I guess we'll take that. So I decided I'd just grab a wrench and then use another wrench to extend it. Maybe. Ooh, how you break your wrist. Maybe I won't. Okay. 
Maybe I won't. I don't think so. Huh. Well, looks like we no, got... This is why. We got a problem. <laughs> So this is why nobody does this, huh? Ah, uh, why didn't we do that earlier? Well, I can't get to the top one. You want to wobble? Wobble, yeah. wobble. Oh, that's gonna break. I don't even know what to do anymore. You should have seen it. Like, my dad had this whole like little, like, just storage thing. It's a 12 point socket too. No, dude, I think it's gonna go. No. Yeah. Going. Watch the bolt break. No, it's turning. I can see it turning. Yeah, it all falls out. Now we take this thing off. It's called a rotor. It's good to hose down your rotor because it's all, it's got all this oil and everything from the packaging and shipping and everything. Good. Drilled and slotted. Well, I just put this wire wheel in this drill. I'm gonna clean off this caliper bracket just so that when we put the slides back on, it doesn't have anything in between there that could possibly squeak. Or... Don't need those. We're working on. It is important to get the right slide on the right side. This side flips down, the other side walks in. One of these jobs. Yeah, man. Take some of this magma. Ew. And you don't gotta put a lot on there. A little dab will do ya. Then you just kinda give her the old spread around. What is that? It's, I don't know, some sort of brake grease. Just came with it. I've never seen brake grease that's this color, but I'm sure it's probably fine. What's the worst that could happen? Squeaks. <laughs> Sometimes these might be like, you might have an inboard pad and an outboard pad, but it looks like these are all the same. I guess we'll put the bracket back on. That'll just make this whole assembly process much easier. Back with the old extendo ratchet. This thing is just sweet. Like a uh, normal size. Extend it. Breaker bar. Old trusty, really. And maybe I'll give her some beans, throw her back out, then we'll know it's tight. now so I think that's tight enough here's our outboard pad squeaker goes on the inside then we got to compress the old caliper oh god now on things like this it's kind of a pain in the butt however it can be done however. there's always a way typically I take an old pad, jam her in there, give her the old jam. And uh, I got two tools that I push them in. But we're gonna have those guys because we're at Gage's house. We're gonna use a gigantic C clamp. Then you just kind of start giving her the beans and hope it bites down eventually. That's how you compress the caliper. You don't need to open the bleeder, nothing like that. Lubins. Boom. That is the exact sound you want to hear when you're putting on your new brakes. Guess that'd be one side down. Yep. You've got to worry about all the grease on the rotor. I'm sure that'll be fine.
So we got Gage's brakes done. Um, it went pretty easy. The driver's side was like ridiculously tight, but we got it figured out. It was a little sketchy. Um, we lubed them, did all that. And uh, now we're about getting ready to turn it around because it's kind of working in tight quarters around here. It didn't, it didn't go too bad for a Dodge. What do I know though? So these are the tools you're going to need to do the back brakes on the truck. You're going to need a hammer because you have that on these big jobs. And then uh, a pry bar because the same reason. But the caliper bolts are a 13. Same as the front. And then the caliper bracket bolts are a 13 16. So that's what we used. So that's a little bit different than the front. And then you'll have this just in case you have a big job and then compress the caliper so you can get the new brake pads and then you're going to need a wire brush of course again to wire brush the bracket for your brake pads and brake parts cleaner to clean off the rotor it's all right she's in my side i got all night so just sit tight so just sit tight so just like the front, um, I guess we'll start by compressing the caliper. Thank you. Yeah, I think I can do that. Um, Rear caliper bolts are the same size as the front caliper bolts are 13. Which is pretty convenient, really. It should work a little bit better because I have a trailer. Yeah, my truck has drilled and slotted rotors. It stops good. Really? Yeah, it's not like a car. <laughs> like, There's way better ways to do this, but I prefer them the hardest way. Hmm. Got it. I guess we'll just do them. Is mint. You get that on these big jobs. <laughs> oh, there is some loft tied in there. All of the loft tied. Got her. Usually, in the rears you got to beat off. Oh wow, I guess not. <laughs> beat off. <laughs> e brake shoes, mint. You don't gotta worry about those kind of wire wheel this unit here. So then you got the same thing, you got your stupid little hardware bag with your slides in them. Everything likes lube. Always make sure when you're doing a brake job, throw your trash directly on the floor. You don't gotta worry about picking it up. That's completely unnecessary. So now I'm gonna throw this bracket back on here. The bracket back on these 18 millimeters nerds excuse me 13 16 don't want to lie to you guys Put spicy little unit on there
Got it. She's plenty tat. It's just right. Okay, Boomer.